SFJ 4x4 Studios presents in my in my oversized four wheel drive Jeep, a Jeep podcast starring industry experts. Pure monosity. <laughs> what? What? Say that again. With mad scientist Scott Brown. Use my drill press as a sort of lathe. Our host Neil Simpson. If one light goes out, they all go out. Filled with shenanigans. We, we are really professional with Jeeps. This is I Speak Jeep. Good morning, evening, afternoon, middle of the night. You really don't know what's going on. Middle of the morning. <laughs> wherever, however you are joining us, this is the I Speak Jeep podcast. I don't actually know what episode it is. 47. 47. Darn I it. have no production notes. Well, Darn we're it. just totally going to wing this at this point. Yeah, Davey, the production notes are on the printer. Good morning, go, Chuck. Davey, Hello. Go, go Davy, go. <laughs> Big shout out to our fantastic <laughs> production team, the Savage and the Italian Stallion. Also, if you haven't seen in the uh, latest video, I think the Trail Fest video is live. Uh, there's a cameo of the Italian Stallion dancing. The, you the, should find I mean, that. I don't know about that. <clears throat> it's excellent. Um... Look at that. Look, we have production notes. Yay. Look how prepared we are. Um, Boy, do we got some stuff to talk about. <laughs> Boy, do we. <laughs> you know what? This might be. I'm going to desperately try to stay it's on track. It's episode 47, in case you wondered. And you know what? I'm still Neil uh, from SFJ4x4.com. I don't know if I did that or not. <laughs> no, you did not. All right. And you are. Who are you, sir? <laughs> Mad scientist Scott Brown, who is extremely sore today. My car kicked my butt. Oh. <laughs> over the weekend. Oh. I saw it. I saw the car uh, on your updates. Actually, I'm in line trying to buy some Southern barbecue. Mm -hmm. No, where was I? I don't know. <laughs> There's so many Ford people because of that car. Yes. That stopped to try to make friends with me the on the course all, of the drive down. All of them. And I just kept sending them to your Facebook and Instagram page. <laughs> And, uh, That's why I have no so and, many followers. And now. this podcast, and I was like, "Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that car." I, you know, and I was like, "Do you have a flathead V8?" And they're like, "No, I've got a 350." Actually, I met a guy who has a 360. Oh, in his uh, in his uh, 39 Ford or something. I don't know. Good. Well, real quick, Joe Brilla says, "Good gentle morning, and ladies, men." Um, classic, <laughs> <laughs> classic, <laughs> and then. Daddy Jeep saying morning. Chuck Laurie said good morning. So good morning, good everybody. Morning, good, good morning, good morning, everyone. morning. Uh, and you know what? Uh, just because uh, Daddy Jeep has, has weighed in, he's going to be a guest uh, coming up here in the next few weeks. Uh, we'll be talking about his podcast channel, uh, some of the cool things he's been doing. Um, I'm going to use the word philanthropically. Uh, and I'll say that simply because he's guiding just about every single trail guide ride I, th I think it exists in western P Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> but next week, our insurance agent, as we continue to, uh, reveal cast of characters of SFJ 4x4 to our listening and viewing audience, uh, you're going to get to meet Greg, our insurance agent. So make sure you have all your insurance questions. Have those insurance crush questions ready. I am making words <laughs> with my mouth. I do that all the time. It's <laughs> I fine. know. We're <laughs> <laughs> we're on the we're on a level now. Here we are. Yep. Um, we have things to talk about. We, we have do. things to check in. Um, and uh, I feel like I get mine out of the way because you're just going to hog the whole podcast. No, because <laughs> we have questions. <laughs> no, what I what I figured we're going to do is I'm going to write down so um, some people on my personal Facebook page know that I may have taken an impromptu trip to Charleston, South Carolina. Yep. Over the weekend. Yep. He called me yesterday about 6 o'clock and was still there. And uh, I was like, we're not having a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, folks, here he is. But yet, here. here he is. Um, so and I have, tell you? I have 100% not slept. Um, so I was like, I feel like I kind of jinxed myself. Uh, like three weeks ago, I was like thinking, I was like, man, I was so hard. I used to pull some all-nighters and you know, like wrench party all-nighters or, you know, college, write a paper all night or whatever, you know. I was like, ah, you know what? I'm, I'm like, I'm like organized and mature now. I make sure I get my sleep, you know, all that kind of stuff. Bring it. I was yeah. still buying parts at six o'clock in 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 the Carolinas last night. Yep. <clears throat> Hammer down. Yep. 
Hammer down. I ran out of fuel this morning. <sighs> Shame. On the side of the highway. Shame. But you're here, and the truck's here. And the truck's here. Yep. But I met a really cool dude. Oh, of course. That's how you meet nice people. You, I, I have the greatest stories. <laughs> I had. I mean, we jammed so much life into uh, basically it, three nights. It is fun. It when, is when fun. you do that. Yeah. We, we have a sort of a thought of trying to do that maybe around the holidays. We'll see. Oh, I like it. I, I, um, my wife and I did uh, a, a getaway for Thanksgiving about a decade ago. We, we always you know, have to be sensible in our plan, and then when we're on our plan, just throw the rule book out the window. Just throw it out the window. And just go for it. Just, just let it rip. Because I, we were talking about going down-ish where you went, and I was like, you know, it's not that much farther. Just keep going. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> Just so from swimming. Where just <laughs> don't don't shut the Subaru off. Just twenty four hours a day pound the heat. Hey, I was uh, pull in visit. Yeah. Yay! Picture back in the car. Absolutely. <laughs> it, there's something I I don't think I'm actually cut out for a cannonball run. No. But there is something that just sits in my belly yeah. about these guys who did it's the cannonball impressive run. How much distance they cover? In a short amount of time. Folks, if you're not familiar with the Cannonball Run, it is, I think it's from New York. They've done it multiple times, of varying different vehicles. Well, it's supposed to go coast to coast. So it you're does. supposed to run, you're really supposed to run entire East Coast to, to West Coast. Yep. And uh, they, they basically, they, they run in teams. So usually a team of two or three uh, people. And they have uh, <clears throat> unassuming cars. They all have modified fuel tanks, so they literally go coast to coast without stopping for fuel. Uh, the best of their ability. Best yeah. of their ability. Uh, they go to the bathroom in, you know, yeah. the car. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they go to the bathroom in, yep. yes. Uh, and they have every radar detector known to man. Um, for, that's for super some cool reason. stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Super, yeah I, I know a couple years ago, you know, there was one guy was the driver. One guy was uh, like a note a, keeper. Like. Yeah. Time check and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. was like. They had people staged across the country who would like report in. Yep. And then one guy was just the IT person. Yeah. Um, running the radars and. Yeah, I think their average stuff. speed's like 110. It's, average. I think it's higher than that. It's spectacular. I mean, they've done it multiple times and they beat the record. They're literally every running time. from the east coast to the west coast in 24 hours. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna uh, obviously. I want to talk about my weekend. Yeah. Uh, but I, you did some really cool things. I did. I, I learned some and things. And we have a lot of cool Jeeps here, too. We do. Uh, so, so I have... And uh, people have really cool questions they for do. us. Okay. I was very blessed that uh, you know I have an old car, which means I have older friends with similar cars. And I have those same friends now, too. <laughs> you do. Okay. <laughs> and there's a lot of pressure now. Uh, so I had not... Plan. Uh, I had mentioned in passing to one of my friends that I would really like the bottom of my car to look nice like my frame does. And I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. And he's like, well, you just sandblast it. Okay, well, it doesn't fit in my cabinet, and I've never done outside blasting. <laughs> so he's like, oh, we'll get it done. So I inferred, which is his first problem, first mistake. No. That that meant... I hear you're I assuming. Was, I was going to bring my vehicle to his house, and I was going to assist with loading and unloading and that kind of stuff, and he was on the sandblast, and we were on paint it, and then move on. That's what you told me. <clears throat> that's not what happened. Oh, that's not what happened? No. He's like, oh, you should bring co coveralls. That was my first hint that I was mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told my wife on that hint that I think I should go get a new respirator, because, yes, just in case. Oh, boy. Which I did. Thank oh God. Oh, boy. Okay. Because uh, then I would have <laughs> been so in trouble if I did not do right? that. Right. Uh, but then he made fun of my, my coveralls, of course, because <laughs> they are sort of winterish coveralls. That's what I had, which right. are also a hand me down from another, you know, older friend. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that oh just bit me. Uh, and I borrowed his hood, and I sandblasted the bottom of the car while him and Jerry, the guy that painted uh, ha hashtag not a restoration, played defense, cleaning out moisture. Reputting sand in, fighting with the nozzle, getting pebbles out of it, That's all awesome. that kind of stuff. That is awesome. So uh, triage of, of that. That's what I thought I was doing, but no. Uh, I can tell you uh, that that 
that job sucks. I'm not going to be switch, changing career paths anytime soon. You're not going to be a professional sandblaster. No. So we should we should be thankful for our sandblasters who yes. do all the work they do for and us. for such cheap money. Yeah, yeah. My heart goes out to you. Yeah, <laughs> so. I mean it's amazing how how cost effective yes. uh, the sandblast service is when 100%. you know what goes into it at this oh, point. Oh my goodness! So. <laughs> My car is now sandblasted on the bottom and epoxy primed, and now I know all the rust spots. They're all very apparent. Oh, boy. It's not. It's worse than I thought, but in, in old men, not verbiage, you know, what Jerry and them kept saying is, oh, this car's really solid, and I'm looking at rust holes going, okay. <laughs> <sighs> you say so. So... Uh, we're going to be doing some patching and some repriming and, and that kind of stuff. I'm conniving how I'm going to make a sort of body layover table. Sort of like with like my sort of layover. Like a rotisserie? Sort of table. Not a sort rotisserie. Of. I'm not going upside down. I just want to go over. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. With wood and plywood. <sighs> I, I already asked Jeff to help so because I don't do wood. <laughs> you don't yeah. want the car to end up on I'm inside. so sleepy. Yes. And now you're talking about wood and plywood. And yeah. I just got my construction guy over there. <laughs> so Yeah, I, I got a message from him over the weekend. It says now that you're a full blown contractor. <laughs> <laughs> I with, don't your half ton, with your half ton pick 'em up truck. That's right. Yes. <sighs> if you don't know <laughs> We've been picking on Jeff. Jeff's gladiator doubles as a one ton tow rig and yes. a half ton contractor <laughs> truck. Yes. That as far as Jeff is concerned, <laughs> there is no stigma associated with the gladiator's capabilities one way or the other. Especially when it has a bud flector installed. That Especially it's tow with mandatory. At least ten G. You know what? Immediately. We're at the we're at a show the other day. He's like he comes kind of like I love it when people talk about the tow capacity of gladiators. They just don't know. He's like, yep. <laughs> I, Mine doesn't even have max tow, and I can do 6,000 pounds. <laughs> so I left a little Easter egg for Jeff on my Insta and, and Facebook posts. And, and he oh. found it. <laughs> oh, that man. That shoe works for everything Chuck's saying, and that's correct. Ah, oh, yep. <clears throat> Gracious. Oh, goodness. Um, so that's pretty cool. That was that – was, that was, uh, yeah, a was, good experience, a was good funny, update though, for the car. About when you were still shopping, uh -huh. we were getting past close to bedtime. Yes. And in the the level was going up. He was getting a little less friendly. Inks. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, I got a lot of priming to do, and you got to get this back on the chassis yet. And I'm like, oh, God. Blast <laughs> faster. <laughs> Put some more sand in flat quick. And, I had, and there was not allowed to be any sand in the can when we finished. Because he didn't want to store it with sand in it, so it was like we had to have just enough sand, but, but not too much but, sand. But not too and much. I kept sand. going like, do I blast this or don't I blast this? I'm gonna blast it real quick. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Now we gotta put more sand in. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I uh, love it. I love it. That's yeah. uh, you know what, and, th and thanks to him that you have that done now. Oh um, yes, <clears throat> I thanked him all the times. He asked for forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give him a tip. Okay. Uh, oh, he's like, wow. oh no, just just cover the sand cost. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yes. The car looks so much better. It does. It looks spectacular. If I you wish haven't I seen it done that a long time ago, folks, if you haven't seen it, you got to jump over to Scott's Facebook page, his Instagram um, and check out his his project updates uh, with that. Yep. Um. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, it is episode 47. We're supposed to be asking us anything, asking some questions. And obviously, there have been some questions. That, that uh, was last week's episode. We never no, actually answered them. No, we led with one that we were going to address today. <laughs> oh, God, don't do that to me. I'm <laughs> real tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he's barely holding it together here. But as, as was mentioned, I, I had a very unique opportunity. And... Yeah. Um, uh, and, and it's one of those things where just so many things aligned appropriately. Yes. Um, when you have like three reasons to go south and it's starting to get cold, you just you just do it. Yeah. So it is really valuable to know that uh, yesterday I was in uh, ocean salt water of the 80 degree variety. Yeah. It's not, um, not 80 here. <clears throat> that is not what we have We're here. Chance of a three or four letter word this week. Is there? Yeah, yeah, there is. I wasn't even paying attention. That's why I was loving on the furnace this morning. Nah. 
<laughs> we do need waste oil, folks, if you're hearing that. That's just a, a completely self-fulfilling plug. Yes. If you have waste oil, I don't like uh, to be we cold. will recycle Help it. Help your you. mad scientists stay warm this winter. Um, <laughs> but besides that, I had a unique <laughs> opportunity. Um, hey, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's saying I'm tuning in from, I don't even know how to Nassau, say that. Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. Good for you, man. I think man. Scott got that. He did. Yeah, it's it's Nasu. Um <coughs> Yeah, it's so not, not here that here. We <laughs> had I had the unique opportunity. I held I hauled two vehicles south uh for, for friends of the business. One to stay up on it. It was the one of the wagons. It was one of the wagons. Um and then there was just a, a unique hot rod that uh that was needing to go uh to a location where a, a dear loved one lives. And so, also, not that far from rust-free Jeep parts. Jeep parts. Uh, business. Which you know how business. we love our rust-free Jeep Oh, my parts. gosh. Right? So, I was like, this is a triple whammy, right? We can um, do a bunch of things, help a lot of people. We have lots of people looking for rust-free Jeep parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, in my infinite wisdom, I made sure that I worked uh, you know, as, as uh, appropriate full of a, a work week as possible. I did not leave until after work on Thursday yep. to bomb down to Morgantown, West Virginia, after about three and a half hours, uh, where we dropped off a vehicle, uh, did our pleasantries there. Now, that was the first humbling experience of the whole trip, because I found myself stuck uh, in the gas station. Now, if you are this is the first time tuning in, I am just a hobbyist, an enthusiast, a frustrated truck driver at heart. <laughs> And I am running. I had to make it very clear to an actual truck driver today. I am. I. I, I hold no candle to you. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but I am running in a crew cab international forty nine hundred series with a really rocking four sixty six uh, E. And which, a long trailer. And a really long wedge trailer, which uh, everybody is always thinks is super cool. Yeah. Because uh, it's got like a and sleeper so cab on it. you're stuck <clears throat> between a mountainside and a gas pump. A mountainside and a gas pump. And yeah. I, I just I just didn't make the and swing. And I've seen smaller trailers in this situation without the mountain. <sighs> and you know those little pillars they put by the gas pump? Uh, was They're a, there for a reason, they yep. do, and they take trailer fenders off really effective. Oh, my gosh. Right. So, <laughs> And I am I am obsessive because, um, you know, I spent a long time not having nice things. Yes. Um, I had nice things, right? And and, and I, I, I thank everyone who supported me in that process. But now I have, like, like nice things, you know? Yeah. I, and, and I've You're got, not carving it into the post. I'm not carving station. any of this into the post. I'm yeah. not curbing my 22.5 Alcoas. No. I'm not doing that. Nope. I got little fancy spikes hanging off my wheels. He I'm not that. knocking those off. He, he did that. I, Me not, and Greg picked on him a lot. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. This is, <laughs> this is, this is, I, at least I'm not doing the Carolina squat, which yeah, is absolutely a real thing. Yeah. You right. probably sp- saw it this weekend. First hand. Uh, I thought it was just so an many. internet thing. No. It's so many. And let me tell you, I, hey, I'm sorry. If you're listening, God love you. 94 Chevy half ton uh, uh, extended cabs. Not a cool truck. <laughs> it's not a cool truck. It wasn't cool when it came out in 94. I was here. Was, uh, it, was it a Z71 package? No, it wasn't even a Z71 oh, package. It wasn't even that. I mean, that's the only. You got the plastic skid plate when you got the Z71 <laughs> package. <laughs> The plastic skid plate. That was a real thing. It really was. Yeah, I removed a lot of those at the transmission shop when I worked there. The thing is, they're just <laughs> rust free, right? And I'm yeah. thinking, no, that truck should be in the boneyard. Mm. It should be. I know a couple of people that would argue that fact. But oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, um, so I have a very humbling experience as I'm as I'm s- semi jackknifed around this pump between the mountain between the gas pump. Uh, I can see a local trucker comes flying in, goes down around the gas station, does a big fancy move, and comes up the backside little alleyway. I was like, well, that was really slick. Wish I would have known that beforehand. (laughs) And I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, he'll throw me a bone and be like, hey, oh, obviously not from around here. Let me help you, you know. No, what does he do? He dash cams me. He he films me (laughs) hoping that I'll smash a car. It'll be on or the next. That that yeah. That, America's most wanted photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that he's gonna, you know, he's gonna. I'm gonna have the next viral video on yeah. TikTok, y'all. Yeah. 
No. no. I didn't give that to him. No. I no went, spikes were damaged. No spikes were damaged. No <laughs> wheels were curbed. I did not back into the gas station. I did, however, move like a turtle in the process. Oh. Lots Real. of little movements. <laughs> so that was my first humbling experience. Not an actual turtle for those not catching on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I moved like a turtle, nice yes. and slow. Yes. Um, <clears throat> we then hammered down to the uh, New River Gorge and decided to camp in there. Yeah. Little did I know that it was actually Bridge Day. Yeah. Bridge Day is an international affair. That we did not know about. I didn't know about this. Jeff did. I did. We did don't. you know that it was this weekend? I though? did not know See, it was this weekend. I didn't know what this was. I didn't know that. And and for those, it's not like the bridge tour we talked about last week. Scott thought they were playing cards. I, I thought maybe there was going to be some old people with some brownies talking about the bridge, you know, visiting the bridge. That no. is not the case. No. This is tens of thousands of people co- convening into the New River Gr- the New River. Gorge Bridge to jump off of it. You should not jump off a perfectly good bridge. Just jumping. <laughs> or an airplane. Uh, <laughs> so there's an exorbitant amount of people. Now, granted, great hotel. made lots of friends. Gra- you know what? I made friends. I made friends because of the hot rod that I'm hauling on the back yes. of it. So the truck and the trailer and the car. And for those that want to know, it was a 34 Ford hot rod. It's free window. Yes. With suicide doors. Which it was impossible which, to see out of. Yes. I, I'm, and I'm just flat out too big. <laughs> I'm just physically too it big so to enjoy that car. to watch him try to back in the door of the suicide. Entertaining. That wasn't, that wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't entertaining to me. No. You got to back in. I had to back in. The booty had to go first <laughs> into the seat. Which were Jeep Grand Wagoneer seats? No. Cherokee. Oh, they were Small Cherokee. Small body Cherokee. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize that in the conversation. Yes. Oh, how cool. Yes. And they had a Ford 88 rear, which I thought was also fun. Yes. Um, all right. So here I am, Bridge Day, Coolio. Uh, I got lost, stuck uh, on a cow path <laughs> by the by the bridge small was that, small was that, road. that dirt road that or wasn't i'll get to that oh, i'm gonna okay. try i'm not gonna give all of my stories because y- i can't begin to tell you how many things happened this weekend <laughs> <clears throat> needless to say we didn't get to the gorge and we didn't end up playing frogger across the five lane that's there um despite the fact that i really wanted to see the gorge what we did however manage to do uh, to salvage that little experience was to go to the West Virginia Tamarack Market. Uh, and it was, I said I would show this. This is the coolest little thing, right? And so they have these little artisan crafts. This is actually a little bottle of West Virginia gold, or at least that's what they say it is. And uh, this is my son's. He's very proud of it. And uh, they had gemstones that they've mined out of West Virginia. They have wooden crafts and, and all that kind of stuff. So it like was really neat. The, anything you stop. I think you stop at the gas station. You can get that stuff in West Virginia. I, I'm saying that's what <laughs> I was like. OK, win. Right. We're, yes. we're back on on the winning process. Yes. <clears throat> that's not that's not so. No, no, that's not so. Here's where I'm going to leave this. And if you are on my Facebook page, <laughs> you will then you will understand. Uh, so I'm making contact. I'm communicating with uh, with our friend who has the hot rod on the back of the car. And he says, hey, you know what? I see you're going to be getting into town. Um, a little later than we had planned, I'm more comfortable if we drop off during the daylight. And I said, totally okay. I get that. And he yeah. says, how about tomorrow morning? No worries. So uh, we were already intending to meet a uh, f- family, uh, family member in Charleston. I said, I'm going to go down into Charleston. We're, we're going to do – Jeffrey, do you have the picture of the hotels? Yeah. We're going to stay at one of these – 11,000 hotels in an hour radius of Charleston. But you're not. (sighs) (laughs) Do you know who Luke Combs is? No. Jeffrey? He's a singer, right? I guess. (laughs) Was he in Charleston? He was in Charleston. Oh. And apparently. He's very popular. Apparently he was very popular. (laughs) He was so popular <laughs> that every single one of those hotels. Even the ones way up on top? Even the ones way up on top were sold 
out. Joe We're Harper chi- chiming in. We know who he is in the South. Very popular. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, we're just <sighs> just stupid <clears throat> for Northerners. We don't Northerners, <laughs> don't back up north. I see those Ohio plates. <laughs> other, other than knowing he is a singer, I couldn't produce a single one of his songs. I, I know he's head. a singer. I know. I mean, I've heard that oh. before, right? But never holy heard cow, of him before. The fact that he would command such a a draw that every single hotel. So here's the thing. I so thought did was you go to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't think I know I didn't. Um <laughs> I just My um, brother just called me out on that. He and goes, what did he say? He says, Jeff, you should know. He played my wedding song, Beautiful Crazy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love yep. it. Jeff is getting called out <laughs> from the comment section. He had a re- Jeff had a rough weekend too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna talk about um, that. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Jeff had a beautiful, crazy weekend. Um, all right, so so here's what I was gonna do. I thought, I thought, crazy. I know that I don't know. Out of eleven thousand hotels in somebody an hour like, radius, please come stay in my room. S- somebody would be like, "Hey, we would love you to book a room." Yeah. And I was like, "I don't. I haven't been to Charleston in I don't know two decades." And so I thought, "Hey, I'd like to get down there, figure out the area, and then pick a hotel." And there's like three or four different clusters of hotels. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't Lord know where came. I was going to be. So so we we leave after after visiting, we leave and we go to this cluster of hotels and we start calling around. And at first I'm like trying to be like like really appropriate. Yeah. Hello, you know, my name's Neil and I am looking for a room for the evening. And they're like, "Nah." And they're like they're super pleasant back and they're like, "Oh, Oh, thank you, sir, for choosing. Blah 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 blah. But you're not staying with but us. But we don't so. have any rooms available tonight. And I'm like, you could have just said that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sure at some point the pleasantries stopped. So yeah. <laughs> so finally, we're getting to the point. I'm calling, and I was like, "Do you have any rooms?" <laughs> no. No. <laughs> we're so sorry, sir. And I was like, I don't. Know. I don't care. Yeah. Click. Moving on to the next one. Um. All right. So at that point in time, we've reached peak fun. The fun has been peaked. We're done. <laughs> so what do we what do we do? We go to Walmart. Oh. To sleep in the truck. Mm. So we lay down in the truck. <clears throat> Fifteen minutes. Like forty five. Oh, okay. And you know what needs to happen? Mm. My wife has to go to the bathroom. Of course. Chuck's asking if any of them said, Bless your heart. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did, Chuck. <laughs> they did. Oh, oh, bless your heart, sweetie. We've been sold out. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do I know? <laughs> so, so wife's got to go to the bathroom. I was like, well, was it a 24-hour Walmart? No, there, COVID happened. There's oh. no 24-hour Walmart left anymore. Uh, at all? At all. That's mm. just the business model. They cut it from their business model. Oh. They I said, probably saved billions doing that, they too. Did. They did. They it's, did. It's a, it's, a, it's a talking point of theirs. Oh. I said, Jen, there's a fence over there. <laughs> oh, God. There's a there's a there's a little tree line. <laughs> uh, Chuck says that's southern for <laughs> f off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what that means? <laughs> I got told that a lot this weekend. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> um, so so I was like, that's it. I'm going to Columbia. If you don't know where Charleston is and where Columbia is at, Columbia is the state capital of Charles of uh, Charles of South Carolina. It's like two hours north. I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't care at that point. I figured uh, Luke Combs better not have booked rooms out <laughs> two hours because I was at the point I was calling a- an hour and ten minute by by diameter, you know, radius there, and not diameter radius. And I was like, I don't care. I'm driving to Columbia in the middle of the night. And uh, so here's the funny thing about Charleston. Uh, it is apparently one of our country's largest port cities. Hmm. I didn't sense. know that. It's beautiful. Um, it's a historical port city, but it's also a current shipping uh, center, which is spectacular. I got to ride on their new bridge or drive over it. I was super geeked about that because mm-hmm. I like exploring places on wheels. Mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> so I- at that point in time, uh, Columbia is is two plus hours away. And I was like, I'm over this. I'm driving right now. At least in the right direction. No, it's it's north. I was driving back north. Is oh. gen- it was like, can we go? We can't go east because that's the Atlantic Ocean. You can't yeah. go south. That's down in Savannah. Who cares? Joe's chiming in. That port is one reason gas is so cheap in South Carolina. 
That's pro- that is true, right? I mean, that's I. So many goods are coming in and out of the port. It's spectacular. But the thing is, the thing is, Charleston pre-COVID apparently was like a third of the size it currently is. Hmm. So all of these humans have just saturated an infrastructure that was not prepared for it. So as I'm driving out this little coastal highway, it was might as well be a cow path of a coastal highway. I'm thinking to myself. They're not ready for this. You know what I mean? They got five lanes down by Charleston, but you get up there, you're you're on just like a like a double yellow. You know. Yeah. Finally, my wife and I, as we're driving, see this like tchotchke little sign on the side of the road, <clears throat> and it was Motel Hotel. Right Motel there. Hotel yeah. right there. <laughs> and Jen was like, "Quick, Google." So she's googling. She called, and the the woman. Bless your heart. (laughs) I have one room left. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll be there in five. (laughs) I showed up to this place in the middle of a swamp. Uh Uh-huh. In a big truck. In a real big truck. With a really big trailer. With a really big trailer. (laughs) And no parking. (laughs) So I spun around so that I was going back. uh, I guess it's eastbound. And I backed it in across the front. So I zigzagged the back of the trailer, backed it in across the front of the motel, and, uh, and, and, and had it underneath the light, which made me very happy. But she was like, you really know how to work that truck. And I was like, uh, it's just stupidity at this point <laughs> um, because I have no choice and I'm so tired. This is like four in the morning at this point. Oh, God. Um, Joe Harper's asking, was it a small all-white hotel motel right off of Highway 17? I was totally sending memes about that um, to people just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> Bates, Bates, Bates Motel. Um, so, interesting enough, uh, no fire alarms, no linens. Mm. Um, so, there was no, no blankets. And uh, no. no coffee maker uh, made well, me feel some type of way. That's not that's not a hotel. Uh, I don't think they cared at that. We point. didn't care at that that's point. That's true. We didn't. There care. was at least a bed. There was there were there was there was a bed right and hot water. We paid for a bed and hot water, which was fantastic at that point. Um, I think. Why don't we Why don't we bring up? I'm I'm going to leave that for the picture for the stories for today. Um. We could have could have gotten that stuff at Walmart. Ryan says no. We couldn't have because it's four a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I have made such poor choices at this point. Uh. So here is a, a couple snippets of our uh, of our trip, and we're going to bring them up in pictures. So if you're listening to us, and we we appreciate you, uh, you know, downloading and being part of that listening audience, we're going to do our best to describe it. And then I've got a couple pictures. The, I'm going to skip forward to a part. Where I, well, first of all, we went cotton picking. Mm-hmm. As you should. Um, I don't know that we were allowed to, but oh. it was May or may not have gone cotton picking. We may picking. or may not have gone cotton picking. <laughs> it might have just blown up into the truck. A hundred percent. And then as far as uh, the end of our trip, uh, as we have mentioned a couple times, I was still in the Carolinas buying Jeep parts about six o'clock last night. Yeah. And on that path. Um, oh, which go ahead. Dirt road. Dirt road. Okay. I asked him what this field picture was. He said it's not <coughs> a field. It's a road. That is an actual road that is on GPS. Hmm. That's impressive. I've seen some it's actual real roads here that are not on GPS. <laughs> this is about the size of a alleyway. I, I've gone jeeping down Straight roads like dirt. that. That is... <laughs> Like the blue trail at Bantam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I told the kids. Shots fired. As we're. No. No, that's never green, my intention. Green trail, not blue trail. The green trail. I, the easy trail. Fire access, uh, you know, type rides. I said, we're, we've got we've got a rig going down this road because I'm following GPS. And I was like, well, we can check off off-roading on this trip this <laughs> as well. Because that is some people are showing up to an event this weekend, wherever it might be in the country. And that is what they're going to encounter as yes. off-roading. Um, but it was actually marked on the, old, uh, on the old GPS. This was in our process of getting out to uh, uh, 
you know, to to go to this uh, Jeep parts place. If you're listening in, uh, basically we have a dirt path that's not much wider than my 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 international. No as one it was is. passing him. Let's there's there's no way. passing. There's no humans around because on that's either good. side it's just straight soybeans and some overgrown plants. If there were other humans, they would have had problems because they would have. Met. Oh, we would have met and we would have been stuck and a farmer. Soybeans would have been up. Soybeans <laughs> would have <laughs> lost. The they tractor would have been so mad if it tried to come down the road at that time. Uh, yeah, that's pr- and that's the traffic you would encounter on that road. That Absolutely. is. That is. Oh, I did mention. I'm, see, I'm jumping all around. Um, I'm going to go to uh, this morning. I, as I'm, oh gosh, I'm all over the place. I did run out of fuel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, here's what I discovered the hard way. Mm-hmm. Uh, the truck reads an eighth of a tank off. Ah, I, I know that feeling. So <laughs> I, I still had fuel. I was actively looking for a gas station. In fact, in spectacular fashion, when the truck came to a screeching halt, I was looking at the golden glowing sign of BP. And yet I couldn't get there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out on the, the highway. <clears throat> What's that? Said so the irony. The irony. I'm out on the highway at I don't know five a.m. I don't. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm like three hours from home, and I'm like, what do I do? And uh, some truckers would just sleep at that point. <laughs> some would, but I'm hammered <laughs> down. Would because their license requires them to. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That is silly. For, I had we're doing nothing. this for recreation. We're just that's, recreation. That's my point. And I had nothing shy of one pot of coffee and three Red Bulls to make this drive happen last night. I told him to rat him out to his ho- his doctor. <laughs> ah, no, 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 <laughs> don't do that. Um, I I didn't take the f- I didn't shoot the fourth Red Bull for the sheer fact that I thought that the fourth might actually put me. Over the edge. Yes. The fourth <laughs> one. The fourth, the fourth the first one. first three on top of the coffee. <laughs> and Advil. <laughs> it was the Advil Man. and Red Bull. That Advil's was normal. Yeah. Um, I just recently had, I was like, hey, liver, kidney, you're going to have to take this one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got a podcast. Family's got to get to work. we got stuff to do. we got parts to go on Jeeps. I said, liver and kidney, you're, you're up. All right, so uh, I call a I call a truck side roadside assistance, <clears throat> random like our Albert type character, right? I thought you know what the heck? I mean, somebody out there is is googling Albert's information for double uh, double A towing, you know? Um, I got uh, this 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 account. I just happen to be again. I'm staring at this BP and it says town. I don't I, I don't even remember the name at this point. And the first person that pops up is uh, this great full heavy rescue type business, you know? And I thought, okay, well, I mean, I'll, I'll give them a shout. I'll give them a call. And uh, they have amazing Google reviews, mm-hmm. almost very similar to ours. I was reading through. I was like, I, I get this guy, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. So I call this person. Again, it's about 445 in the morning right now at that point and <clears throat> answer the phone like he's been up for two hours. Yeah. I was like, all right, okay, cool. He's got a solid dispatch team. Something's going on, you know, blah blah blah. And he says, all right, I'll uh, I'll bring the, the I'll, I'll bring the diagnostic truck and fuel for you. I was like, okay. So twenty six minutes later, that's it. Now I had gotten a little nervous because be some kind of record. Yeah, I, I'm with you, right? Yeah. Uh, because I'm a little nervous at this point because I said. I'm on, I'm right before, I'm just south of, of exit, like, 65. I can see the gas station. Uh, I think, you know, I was a little too hammered down, and the gas tank's, you know, reading an eighth off. That's all I had told the guy. And he's like, all right, I'll be right there. I was like, God, I didn't tell you anything else. I mean, you know, like, I, mean, I told him about the, the truck, uh, you know, br- brief description. So I call him back, and he goes, uh, no worries, sir. I see you blinking. And I was like, oh. Okay, he's coming down this side. He cuts through the uh, emergency vehicle access. He's got all his lights on, blah, blah, blah. He pulls up. We start talking. I'm helping him, trying to keep people from killing us. So I'm, like, flashing the lights <laughs> as the trucks go zooming they by us. They don't slow down. They don't slow down, and they don't get over it. That is just the wildest thing. Welcome to Ohio. 
Ah, it's everywhere. <laughs> okay, but I was in Ohio, so, yeah. you know. <clears throat> I've been on the side of the road like that, and they're shake the cars going like this. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, so yeah. much uh. going on there. And uh, so so if, if you're not aware, those... Uh, those diesel engines require prime. They don't have like a fuel pump, like like our cars or our jeeps, you know, yeah. our average do. So when you run out of fuel, you don't just get to add it back to the tank. You cob everything up. Yeah. Um, the truck is now angry. <clears throat> the truck and injectors don't want to work. Yep. So we're out there trying desperately to prime the fuel pump in the process. Um, we eventually do get it fired up. And at that point in time, and he's it's like... popping and snorting and all Oh, upset. yeah, yeah, absolutely. At that point in time, I have not exchanged funds with him in any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <clears throat> he goes, I got a couple of these trucks back at the shop. I think you think they're real cool. Why don't you come look at them? And I was like... It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I've been up driving for I don't know how many hours. I think this sounds great. <laughs> Let's go hang out at your shop at 5 a.m. Were the trucks really cool? Dude, they're so cool. <laughs> Did they have spiky lug nuts, too? Of course. No, oh. no, no, no. No, he was it, definitely. I said, listen, I am an enthusiast, and I am not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. So... Please understand that this this outfit that I have is for for personal and recreational and pleasure, and that and that's what it is. I I respect what you're doing. He has got. Um, <clears throat> if you were to go onto Google right now, just flat out Google and uh, Google like the largest Oshkosh rotator um, truck. His truck will pop up. Um, long story short, and then he actually has a couple military six by six with booms on them. Of course he does. Um, <clears throat> he's got, it was you. he's right. He's got an international that he just bought. That's a four wheel drive. It's my truck, but four wheel drive. Ooh. Right. <laughs> right. That's actually what he invited me back to his house to play with his toy. So we, you got a cool truck and I got cool trucks. Want to cool hang out at 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Your poor wife. So, Still. <laughs> so did he charge you for the tour too? Uh, no, <laughs> well, I mean, I paid the tax, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I paid the stupidity tax. Um, however, he, <laughs> he made me giggle. He reminded, you, reminded me of you, Scott. Um, it, it was long enough, like he had stalled long enough in the conversation. And, uh, and finally he produces the fact that his wife is on vacation and she's the only one who runs the credit cards. <laughs> So he has no way to can, charge can, me. Can you run your own credit card for me? <laughs> I I, was, <laughs> I'll knock $20 off. I was like, dude, I'll, I'll cash out with you. What do you need? You know? Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> so uh, I think he was he was fair. Obviously, I paid the stupidity tax. It is what it is. Um, I now know my truck reads uh, the fuel. The fuel gauge reads off. And uh, I had an awesome time meeting him. How the what is really cool if you can find the tow mater here. Yeah. So as kind of a sort of a philanthropic pursuit, here is uh my son with a real life tow mater. I approve of that tow mater. That this That's guy really good. bought out of he bought the truck. Uh which what is that truck? Scott? That, is, that is a fifty five or fifty six Chevy. There. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it's a fifty six. Thank you, thank you. And uh I think he told me it was a 56, bought it out of Arizona, had it shipped in, and uh, has done it up into a, a reasonably appropriate tow mater mm -hmm. from, uh, from cars. Yep. He says, I mean, he's showing us the big trucks, like the big rotators, the Oshkosh, the 6x6. Yep. Six six. And he goes, hey, he looks at my son. He goes, again, 5 a.m. He goes, hey, I got a truck I think you'd love. And walks over. He goes, like, you like cars? And I was like, heck, yeah, we like cars. And I was like, oh, he wasn't talking to me. <laughs> he, was, he was talking to my nine-year-old. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I like cars, too. Um, uh, cars as well, because I do like cars, too. Um, so he walks us over, and this is a, a, a good running regular uh, truck that they take for parades, and they do touch a truck. And That's he's awesome. like, hey, you know, do you want to check it out? Do you want to pose with it and everything like that? So... Um, and, and I, I don't, again, there's Leo and I. I don't know, know that I'm an authority on it, but I would say that's as close you're going to get of being what Tomator was. Absolutely, and and, as. and and absolutely, I've and seen some is, other ones, and I'm like, that's not the right truck. That's right. the right truck. That's right the right truck. He went so far as to go to Arizona, um, and and so this is 
Uh, and it's Jim's towing or Jim's trucking out of uh, like New Cumbertown or something like that. And so a huge shout out to him. And oh, long story short, he's the owner. And it's literally like four guys. Of course. And they're just hustling. Yep. They're just hustling. Yep. Um, and uh, I think what's really cool is he was saying he started the, the, the company when he was 19. Um, and he's just rolling we, it back in, we, and we feel you. Yeah, I get it, dude. <laughs> and I was, I was like, I was like, I was, I was, I was just trying to let him have his moment and just mm. like support him and encourage him and be like, dude, thank you so much. This is so cool. Yep. Um, but uh, but I just, I really was enjoying myself and and his and and what he had going on. Now I am going to circle back to five o'clock, six o'clock, um, on uh, yesterday <clears throat> when I was still in the Carolinas. And I want to bring up a Jeep, Scott, and I want you to do your best to tell me what you see. Okay. And I took these pictures for you. Of course you did. So this is the first one. So I want you to do it out loud for our listeners who, who so, might not be watching. So we have a, a 97 to 06 Wrangler, which is a TJ. Looks like a lot of body lift. Probably at least three inches would be my guess. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got suspension lift, too. So those tires are probably... Those 37s? Mm, I at think least 35s? Somewhere. Yeah, they're at least 35s. Um, we got our tube steps underneath the, the, the tub. Uh, grill is painted black. Jeep is red. Mm -hmm. Stock fender flares. We uh, stockish bumper with tube added for a brush guard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bambi is <laughs> totally not liking that. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, soft for top. Bambi. Looks like no doors. No doors. It's it's the Carolinas. You don't need doors. Is, is there a... Yeah, leaf springs on a TJ. Yep. Uh, so that was Daddy Jeep chiming in, asking about that. I've seen this before, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there's a second picture, and we'll bring that up. Yep. Right. Caught it from the other side. Looks pretty so similar. So is it a TJ frame or a YJ frame? It is a CJ7 frame. Oh. <laughs> it is a... TJ, as That's as Scott has mentioned, why the grill is so far away. It is a t rust free. I mean, spectacularly hmm. rust free TJ body. Yep. Which, so at one time in my life, I thought you know what would be really cool. So you take your take your early Jeep and you cut the frame off right underneath the the firewall, and you take a TJ front clip and you go. <laughs> And weld that on there, and then suddenly you have front coils and rear leafs, and you're like a Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And I really, really like Cherokees at this time. Yeah, you do. No, the you problem were. is, is the rise on the TJ. <clears throat> yep. The part that the grill sits on is really, really high compared to the center. Yep. Of the frame, the, frame, the frame actually has a rise. A lot to it. of, a lot of, yes. lot of rise in it. It's a, your front S curve. And, and we're really, really flat on early Jeeps. Yes. So you have to either truncate the grill, which I wasn't doing. Right, <laughs> make it non-negotiable. I don't think it's actually truncated. You have to well, elongate it at no, that point. No, you have to make it shorter. Because I've seen people do it. You have to literally cut the grill in half and section it. Nope. And I wasn't willing to do that. Okay. I'm not dealing. I'm not disturbing You're saying to put the a seven CJ. slots. You're saying the CJ. If you wanted to yep. put a CJ grill yes. with body on yep. that. I f okay, I'm following now, that. Now, if you do the opposite, which is what they did, now suddenly the grill is hovering. <laughs> above like a spaceship. Like a UFO. A spaceship above the front frame. <laughs> So it is a it is a it is a wheelbase looks like it lines up decent enough, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's an eighty one plus uh, CJ because we've got a wide track, yep. right? So it's a wide track. It has the 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 high front shock towers, which you can't see in the pictures very well. Yep. Um, and uh, and it is leaf sprung at all four corners, yep. and so you have this you have this this looks like narrow leaves too. At first. A very attractive TJ from 20 feet away. And then you start to look at it and you're like, you're still attractive in your cleanliness, but you're kind of an abomination. <laughs> so yep. what what power plant does it have? Um, it's got to have a 360 or a 401 or a small block Chevy. 360. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yep. So 360 and a T18, but out of a J truck. Of course. So... There's that. And and the TJ is just a shell at this point. There's no wiring in there. Nope. 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 No, it's, don't, it's don't work. diamond plate or something. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't need that plastic it garbage. It ran <laughs> so well. Yep. It ran so well. 
I, I mean, that 360 just sat there like a little sewing machine. Yep. Spectacular. Yep. Um, all right. Let's see. Folks, you're going to have to tune back in and, uh, and you know, get some more stories from, you know, from my banger in Charleston. Um, obviously, we've picked up some parts, so we'll be talking about those because that will be directly affecting some projects. Yep. Um, if you are a person who's receiving parts, your parts are in and we'll be in contact <laughs> with you soon. <laughs> so we'll be getting going on your project. Um, and, uh, and obviously we probably have some more shenanigans and projects that, uh, yep. that we can touch on here in the near future. There was a question we were supposed to answer last week that we didn't answer this week and we're going to answer it next week. Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> you want to do hashtag not sponsored. We should, we should. Well, real quick. You had a GPS photo. What was that for? I'm going to tell that story okay. at another time. Okay. We'll go to hashtag not sponsored. And now it's time for our product spotlight. Hashtag not sponsored. Spotlight. Hashtag not sponsored. So today we are talking about Factor 55 Precision Engineering Pro Link. Oh, I'm doing fan of Which this may or like may not be on Buddha the front hands. of hashtag not a restoration. <clears throat> It's not actually in the box that I installed. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, it looks just so pretty. It does. It's the thimble. It is. And I thought I would give you guys some facts if you're still awake at this point in the game. Of I just want to I want to clarify how quickly you put that on. It was, hey, you got a package here. Yeah, it's already on the Jeep. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did that a couple times <laughs> uh, over the last few days. Anyway, uh, they were located in Boise, Idaho. I was not prepared. Really? Yeah. Still? Yep. Huh. Uh, they specialize in mechanical design and analysis, which basically, uh, since I've taken engineering courses, I'll explain that. That means they draw things in 3D, and it and tells them what's going to break on that before they make it out of any metal. Interesting. And it shows lots of red and yellow and blue and that kind of stuff, and then you eliminate the red so it doesn't break. Huh. And then, when you're done with that... Uh, well, and the staff has experience in aerospace, defense, and semiconductor industry. Us too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And they have always been passionate about off-roading. Us too. And before they release a product, they perform a destructive test on each design to a, with the assistance of a facility. Us too. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> We're like twins. might be a little more progressive than ours, but they're like twins. It's, We're it, like twins. You take a calibrated hammer and you hit it. <laughs> ah, where we just hit it with a hammer. Big hammer. Bigger <laughs> hammer. <laughs> but if you guys don't know, this is a great company, made in USA, uh, finished off really nicely then you don't have that hook hanging off and where are you going to hook it to i don't know you don't have to worry about it anymore what i think is cool about the thimbles is that you can run a d-ring in them yep um <clears throat> but you obviously can run the soft shackles which are very popular right yep. now uh so they're very versatile or you can Get you the can flat one you, which is even more versatile uh, but yep. this is what ryan chose in black and it really looks good on that 8274 uh, on the front of the Jeep. Cool. Now, we had some corrections. If you're still with us, yes. if you're still with us, do you remember what they were, Jeffrey? You're the producer. The, so the GMRS, yes. uh, the encryptions. So we had a listener, and this is what's really valuable if you're still with us, and we thank you that you are. Uh, we had a listener reach out to us during our um, – during our – piece about the comm systems the cb and gmrs I've we misspoke yep. by saying that uh that there were encrypted channels right uh and and so tj actually messaged us uh said that we mentioned it uh, you could encrypt gmrs transmissions that is not true privacy codes as they are called only send a sub auto tone along with the transmission the receiving radio will only open the squelch when it hears that tone, but if someone is not using the privacy tone, they will hear everything. There are two types, CRCSS and DCS. And then he provided us a blurb right from the Midlands MXT 400 manual, which I'm not going to read, but it just back. He was up. super cool about it. He said, hey, I really enjoy listening to you guys, but this is something I noticed in the program. 
hey, we're here for that. Yep. Um, we want to be accurate in, in what and how we share. That's actually a core principle of our business model to educate, document, and make the customer happy. So um, certainly when there's something like that that doesn't, uh, that doesn't jive with the reality or the actual expectation of the product, we want to know, and we'll make that correction accordingly. Yep. So <clears throat> I sometimes think you can school the expert, and that's fine. That's how you can become bigger and better of an expert. Absolutely, and that's what we hope to bring to you guys. Folks, you're not going to want to miss next week. We're going to be talking with our insurance agent, Greg Joslin from Jos Landis Insurance Agency. Not to be confused with our Greg. Not to be confused with our Greg. <laughs> and um, and I may or may not regale you with uh, driving uh, switchbacks. Uh, there's a great story from many years ago when I was headed out to all uh, PA all breeds, my sister and I, and then my, my wife and my sister and I all he heading out there. We used to go up Iggy Back Mountain, which was a poor choice. Uh, <clears throat> my wife and I find ourselves on a switchback mountain in the middle of West Virginia, avoiding a huge traffic jam. So that was uh, interesting, to say the least. And at some point in time, my well-mannered wife, who just wants people to be kind, may or may not have yelled out the window of the truck, what, are you going to fight a woman? <laughs> Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you <laughs> like, subscribe, comment on our YouTube channels, on the I Speak Jeep podcast channel. Head over to SFJ 4x4 TV if you're not already there to get all the other cool stuff. This will obviously be live on Facebook for about 24 hours, then down. you got to find it either on your favorite streaming platform or on YouTube. Until then, jeep on. Jeep on.